So I'm getting into one of those moods, and I decide to have a couple of drinks by myself, which I did. And I, I had a couple of drinks, and, I, you know, the mood went away. But the thing I'm telling you is that life sucks. And once you accept that life sucks, it becomes easier to deal with. And that's why there's so much weakness in America is because we're deluded into thinking that we're supposed to be happy and everyone else is happy and you're the only one who is feeling lonely or you're feeling life's burdens and no one else. And you, you look at the ads every minute, there's a ha-ha and a ho-ho and a hee-hee and it. And the media continuously drives this concept that everyone else is having a great time except you. You're the only one having a miserable time. But in fact... This is this is what life is, and a lot of it is the fact that you were raised. If you're a, a person under forty-five, you were probably raised in a Spockian, you know, nightmare where you were told that life is pleasant, life is easy, life is good, and maybe it is for you. You know, maybe you're a lucky person. You'd be the exception. You're not the norm. For most people, life is a grind. Life is a bore, and life is difficult, and life sucks. And there is no happiness. Happiness is is fleeting. Happiness is transient. Happiness exists here and there. You have moments of happiness, whatever they may be for you. I don't know what they are. The birth of a child, the wedding of your daughter. Uh, I don't know what the hell. The walking your, your child, the, seeing the kid in the graduation hat. Whatever it is, I don't know, getting a promotion, seeing a book published. There are small moments, but basically it's a flat line of difficulty for the average person. Then you get sick and you suffer and then you die a horrible death, usually alone in a home or in a hospital.